have been instructed in the Christian faith and desire to make public affirmation of their baptism. Dear friends, we rejoice that you now desire to make public profession of your faith and assume greater responsibility in the life of our Christian community and its mission in the world. Brothers and sisters in Christ, in holy baptism, our Lord Jesus Christ received you and made you members of his church. In the community of God's people, you have learned from his word, God's loving purpose for you and all creation. You have been nourished at his holy table and called to be witnesses to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, therefore, I ask you to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the church, the faith in which we baptize. Now, for those of you who have been at services like this before, you may have noted that I don't say the creed. Uh, how I join in is with the amen at the end. So I watch your proclamation of the creed. In this case, uh, unlike any other time of the year, we're going to let the young people uh, allow to confess their faith as they respond to my questions. And at the end, when we all say, Amen. Young people, do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father, my creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, who was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of saints, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray for those who are affirming their baptism and for all the baptized everywhere, that they may be redeemed from all evil and rescued from the way of sin and death. Lord, in your mercy, that the Holy Spirit may open their hearts to your grace and truth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That they may be kept in faith and communion of your holy church. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That they may be sent into the world in witness to your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That they may be brought to the fullness of your peace and glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for your powerful spirit, for the faith continuing for thousands of years, and the faith that is planted in each of us today. We pray that you would bless us as we go out into the world, that we might bring the light of your Son into its darkness. We pray that you would help us bring the love and forgiveness you have given us, so that others might know you and your love for them. Lord, in your mercy, Amen. Father, we thank you for the gift of your word and sacrament, which strengthens us, and we pray that we might continue in faith, continue in that word, continue with growing with the meal. We pray that you would guide us by your spirit, so it would be our joy to align our wills to yours. Lord, in your mercy, Amen. Father, we thank you for the strength you have given us, the will that you have given us to be at this place. And we pray that you would bless us as we go out into the world to care for those who cannot be here. We lift up to you those who are weak in body and spirit. We lift up to you those who are struggling with life and death. We lift up to you Rachel and John the family of Serena in their loss. We pray, Lord, that you would send us there. And we bring before you now those who are near and dear to us. We bring them to you either silently in our hearts or loud on our lips. Christ our Lord. 
You have made public profession of your faith. Do you intend to continue in the covenant God made with you in holy baptism to live among God's faithful people, to hear his word and share in his supper, to proclaim the good news of God in Christ through word and deed, to serve all people following the example of our Lord Jesus and strive for justice and peace in all the earth? I do, and I ask God to help me guide you. Mm -hmm. I do, and I ask God to help me guide you. Yes. I do, and I ask God to help me guide you. Mm -hmm. I do, and I ask God to help and guide you. Yes. I do, and I ask God to help and guide you. Mm -hmm. Every word. All right. Okay. Good. Ah, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for each your disciples and these young people gathered here. We pray that you would watch over them as they go into the future with the light and the love that you have given them shine from their lives. Watch over and protect them in the years to come until they rest eternally in your peace. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Gracious Lord, through water and the Spirit, you have made these men and women your own. You forgave them all their sins and brought them to newness of life. Continue to strengthen them with the Holy Spirit and daily increase in them your gifts of grace, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and light, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Father in heaven, for Jesus' sake, stir up in Victor and in Mitchell and in Alexander and in Madison and in Al and in Jasmine and in Kaylee and in Heather the gift of your Holy Spirit. Confirm their faith, guide their lives, empower them in their serving, and give them patience in suffering, and at last, bring them to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. You would lie to me. I will ask you to greet other people in peace in a minute. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And all of us with you.
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for your eternal word, proclaimed through the prophets and in these last days through your Son, planted in the hearts of believers and shared for thousands of years. We thank you for the proclamation of that word here and now, and pray that word would be planted in our hearts like a seed, and with the watering of the sacrament and the power of your spirit, grow and produce in us the fruits of righteousness. Guide us by your spirit now, open our hearts and minds, make them attentive to your word. Help us, Lord, so that we know your will through your word and through your spirit have strength to do it. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Please be seated. 